like the most about the performance tonight? Um, just a compete effort. Um, you know, we wanted to just take a shift by shift for a full 60, and I thought uh, we did a great job of that. What would you think of your rookie goalie? That was great. I mean, I think like we, we've been stating here the last day or so, um, we got a lot of faith in any of our goalies in the net, regardless of who it is. And um, Willie's been amazing for us when he's had the, the call, and um, it was again tonight. It's only one game, Mitchell. What did your group show tonight? I mean, like I think I just said, just the work ethic. Um, you know, just I think we didn't uh, really give up a whole lot off the rush. We were, we were doing well with our uh, neutral zone plays and uh, being smart with our puck, and I thought we did a great job of our forecheck, just getting pucks back and getting around the, the goal crease. Just staying confident in our abilities to do uh, what we can do. Um, we've had to lead a lot in, in this uh, last year, so um, we just want to make sure that we uh, didn't back off, we didn't sit on our heels, we just kept attacking and, and going, and I thought we did a good job of that. What did you see on your goal? Um, yeah, I mean, just to start it off, Shiner with a great play, just having poise and tried to get underneath them and get to puck my hands. And just from that point on, um, you know, we did a good job of spreading out the ozone. Um, you know, tried to just get high ice and see if I can get a shot through. And um, Factor did a great job just being in the net front and um, causing, causing just havoc. You know Kachuk well. What's going through your mind uh, when he's throwing punches there at the end? Well, I know exactly what he's going to try to do. So just stay uh, poised and, you know, don't really give a fly and, uh, you know, what the last word is. Um, they've talked consistently about how they don't feel like there's any pressure on them. Do you feel like the pressure dynamic maybe changes a little bit now that you've gotten this one? Who cares? We're about ourselves in here. We're focusing on ourselves. Um, we know, uh, you know, we got to keep this effort up and make sure we bring it back to Toronto. Difference tonight for your, your group, John? Uh, you know, just a little better execution. Um, details I thought were just a little sharper and it puts us on the right side of it. So, um, you know, the games have been uh, down here. have been really tight checking and uh, really uh, tough to earn offense. So just did a good job of staying with it, earning our opportunities, and obviously battling to the end. What did you see from William today? Uh, I, I think he's been, you know, he's had the puck a lot. And he's, uh, the, you know, key for him moving his feet with and without it. And I think he's continued to do that. And uh, nice to see him uh, get rewarded because um, he's been doing lots of good things. And uh, sometimes they just don't go in. Uh, but uh, you just got to stay with it and find a way and, and uh, you know, made some really good plays today. Considering the stakes of the game and that it was his first playoff start, what did you make of Wolf? Uh, just so composed and uh, he's just dialed in. You know, you can just see the focus. Uh, um, you know, he's just not phased. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, he doesn't take things too seriously, but uh, uh, but he's dialed in. You know, his uh, his preparation, his focus is, uh, is elite, and I'm not surprised. Uh, as we've seen uh, over the last couple of years here, um, you know, his skill set and uh, what his potential is like and, and uh, you know, came in and did a hell of a job for us. Given the stakes, what did the whole group show tonight? You know, I think we're, we're you know, we just just talked about just staying with it and uh, just sticking together and being confident as a group. I, don't, I think, uh, you know, obviously uh, being on the wrong side of it uh, for the last three here, just uh, cleaning up some details and, you know, we we're just going to keep fighting and obviously uh, uh, earn another opportunity here, and we're excited to go home. What was working for your team tonight, Justin? Uh, I think the urgency. You know, we uh, we were competitive on pucks. We were uh, competitive in our D zone. We were blocking shots. Um, all the little things that we need, and, you know, when you're protecting a lead like that, um, you know, the, the compete level was really high, and that's what we need. What see about Joe all coming in a pretty tough spot? Yeah, he was terrific. Uh, and, you know, he's been really good for us all year, so we have a lot of confidence in him. You know, he's a confident guy, and uh, I think it shows with his play. What do you Justin, like you say your game tonight, Justin? Um, I thought it was good. You know, you get out there a lot, and you feel the puck, and um, you kind of feel the pace of play. And um, I thought we did a good job kind of limiting their chances on the rush, and then we were able to break out uh, relatively clean most of the time. Um, so yeah, there's always things that you think you could do better, and um, you know you obviously want to get a kill at the end at a critical time, but um, you just learn what you can and move forward. Justin, you seem to be on top of your game again, again today. Did a couple of games off uh, help you reset, refocus, that sort of thing? Um, in some ways, obviously, it's hard to be out of the lineup any time, and um, you know you're always itching to get back in, but. Um, at the same time, you know, the process remains unchanged and uh, just try to do what I can, uh, the best as I can out there and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. How would you describe what you saw from Nylander tonight? Oh, yeah, he was great. And he was great at uh, the little things like tracking back through the neutral zone and disrupting plays. And, um, you know, he's always good with the puck and he's always skilled, but he was really uh, dialed in and uh, made a big difference. Willie, you talked about yesterday, yesterday about having fun today. What, what was the moment like and what was the game like and what was the difference for you guys? 
No, I mean, I think we were able to, uh, I mean, establish some offense and generate some time in their zone, and I think that was an uh, important factor for us to, uh, to win tonight. Okay. Uh, Joe, what was it like for you, your first start in the playoffs? What were the nerves? What was, the, what was everything like for you tonight? Yeah, it was a pretty awesome game to get to get put into, and you know any opportunity I get with this team is is pretty special. So um, I think it was awesome for me to to see how hard we played tonight, and you know guys blocking shots and, and putting it all on the line was was pretty awesome. Joe, how did you keep your composure after they narrow it to two to one, and the the place is going bonkers, and you just seem to be unflappable even after that? Yeah, I think um, for me, my mindset doesn't change. Um, regardless of you know what the situation is in the game, and I think that's the little game within the game I play in my mind, and um, I think that was important at, at that time as well. And um, you know, it was awesome to see you know how hard we played the last few minutes as well. Joe, what stood out to you the most about Williams' game tonight, not just offensively but defensively as well? Yeah, um, you know, like I was saying earlier, I think a, as a team, um, it was very special to see how hard we played tonight defensively. I think. We were challenged to to leave it all out there, and I think we we did that. And you know, Willie leads the charge, uh, you know, with that every night. So it was, it was awesome to see. Willie, you <clears throat> you were asked to, uh, about saying fun yesterday. Did you think today you were able to just flip a switch and kind of put fun aside and just I don't know get serious for a minute? Well, I've been serious the entire time in the playoffs. I mean, I just think it's in these in these moments. Uh, Guys got to play and show what they uh, what they bring to the table, and I think that as a team we did a really good job of that tonight. And I mean, it's not going to get easier. We know we're up against a great team, and we're just going to keep digging in, and playing harder and harder every every game that goes. Willie, I'm wondering what you thought the key was for the team in terms of putting the last loss behind you and, and putting your best foot forward today. Uh, I think just knowing uh, what we're capable of. Um, knowing that we haven't gotten up to our our standards uh, earlier, and know that we uh, if we battle, we we have a chance against uh, against these guys, and that's what we're going to try to do uh, next game in Toronto. And Willie, like, what is the confidence level going into Game Five? You accomplished what you needed to do tonight. What's the confidence that you can do it again in Game Five? Yeah, it's going to take even more than what it did tonight. But I think uh, winning one here is obviously a step on the way, and. Um, don't want to get too high. I mean, it's just one win. Uh, we got a long ways to go, but we're just going to focus on on the game in Toronto. When talking about the difference in the game, Sheldon, the first thing Justin Hall said was urgency. How much more urgency did you see it or your group than in Game Three? Lots. I, I thought, from an effort standpoint, I thought it was our best effort of the season, it's all the way through from start to finish. There was no real let up. Obviously, it's a very close game, but our competitiveness defensively and our urgency defensively was best it's been all year. It was an unbelievable job by our guys here tonight. Sheldon, you've been talking the last couple of days about how much confidence you have in your rookie goalie, but just the way he was swallowing up rebounds, even when they score and the place is going bonkers, I mean, his composure seemed to stand out so much. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. Like, like I said, our team in front of him, uh, gave him every opportunity uh, for success today with how they competed in front of him. I mean, the number of blocked shots that we had here today, and, uh, keeping the puck away. But you're 100% you're right that anything that did get through, um, he looked really confident and, and in control. So as yeah, was, was great, I was asked the question yesterday, you know, if I considered Matt Murray for the start. and. You know, I gave a, a very short answer of, of no, but you know, I wish I had elaborated at the time just to, to say that it's not that w it wasn't a reflection or isn't a reflection of how we feel about Matt Murray. It's more about how we feel about Joe Wall and his development um, from you know over the last year uh, is is frankly just well above what we had anticipated in terms of the timeline, especially for a guy that missed training camp, lots of his off season, uh, didn't get to train, didn't get to, you know, to play his position, uh, was behind the eight ball with us, was behind the eight ball with the Marlies, you know, for him to play the way that he has and to play the way that he did that last regular season game against Tampa, to play the way that he has when he's come into the net here through the playoffs. That's why we had no question that 
he would be able to go today, and, and he did a tremendous job. And of course, loved how the guys took care of him too. Sean, it's only one game, but you know there's a lot of pressure on the outside, a lot of heat for some of the guys. What did the group show tonight, Mitch, Willie, in on this on this stage? Well, uh, I mean, a lot of different things. The first thing is that they care, they care deeply, and because of that, you give that type of effort. You know, they they didn't want to go quietly, and that's what we've been talking about. We were going to leave it all out there here today. Um, of course, from, a, from the coach side of it, now you look and say, like, well, there, that's the standard. Like, that's where we've been trying to get to. That is what's, what's required. So we can't have any let up in that regard. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, everybody played hard here today. It's another close game. It turns out that, you know, Willie and Mitch end up getting the goals for us, and, and that's huge. But, you know, no matter who ends up putting the puck over the line, it's we have to play our, a team game, like, and, and I thought that we did that here today. You know, Florida play hard again. There's not a lot happening either way, um, so it's you know very thin margins out there. But uh, yeah, again, just our effort, response of our guys, and just the way they were playing together as a group. Yeah, you know, it's it's a, it's a great response, but it's it's one response. It's the required one here today. It was the only game on the schedule. Now we've got another one on the schedule, and we wanted to bring this thing back to Toronto. So we're thrilled that we've done that. On that note, how much can your team enjoy this win, or is it just immediately as soon as you guys went to the room, it's back to business flipping the switch for game five compared to maybe other times when you won and you can enjoy it a little bit more? Well, you certainly you certainly enjoy it in the room, you know, but by the time we come out here, by the time we get on the bus, you you, you know you're this is just one, you know, we've got a long way to go here. And we're certainly not satisfied and it certainly won't get any easier, but the job and the challenge that we had here today, the guys met and, and got it done. And now we get to bring it back to Toronto and we have to have another same type of effort. Now the, the challenge is to bring it back here. We wanted to bring, we want, we want to build positive momentum. I think we've done that here tonight. You want to bring it back to Toronto and you want to make the opposition a little bit uncomfortable. Now they, you know, they've got to pack their stuff and fly to Toronto tomorrow. So we've done that. And, now we need to, you know, work towards bringing it back here. William can appear to us at least carefree at times. Did you notice a difference in his play tonight? I thought, well, like every, like every one of our guys, I, I thought they just dug in just a little bit more. I mean, it's it's not a huge difference, but it's, you know, whatever percentage you want to throw out there, it's just a little bit more. Everybody has a little bit more to give, and Will's no different. Sometimes it's in terms of your effort, and sometimes it's just your your attention to detail. You're playing your position, you know, your line change details, you know, your shift length, like all these kind of things. Um, you know, our guys were really dialed in on here tonight, and Will certainly was. You call it the timeout. What what did you like about how the team finished this game off after the Panthers get that goal? Yeah, I mean, the timeout was just, I mean, I, I thought we were playing a really good period, you know, to that point. I mean, see, we get the penalty and then we give up the goal. So it was really just to give our guys a breath, let the crowd settle a little bit, and then get back to it. And I didn't have to say much during that timeout. Our, our bench and our guys were, were really good today in terms of their encouraging of one another uh, and saying the right things and then going out and doing it. So I, I just wanted to give the our guys a breath, let the game settle just a little bit and get back to it. I, I thought I thought it was a tremendous third period for us in a lot of ways. You know, with the season on the line, you know, the guys just dug in and did what they needed to do to get the win. Love that we got the second goal, of course, and how we got it. And then uh love the response once they made it two one. No panic. We just went out and finished the job.